And good morning to you. It's Wednesday, April 15th. I'm Latoya Silman in for Lauren Prisbal. And I'm Tim Ryan. A chase and a shootout with police left a man dead in Dallas. He may be a suspect in an out-of-state double murder. Dan is live with more. Well, Latoya, the suspect was fatally shot on a neighborhood street behind me. It happened about 930 last night. From what we understand, he may be identified as 26-year-old Colby Robinson of Dallas. That identification has not been officially confirmed. It's believed he may be a suspect in two recent murders in Portland, Oregon. We're still tracking down details of that Oregon case. We know that one man and one woman were killed and another man was wounded. All of the victims were related. The two male victims were brothers. The child we saw in that photo was not hurt. The suspect was spotted last night in a DeSoto 7-Eleven. An employee there said he wanted to help the investigation after the man stepped into the store for just a few seconds. He got by a U-Haul, so I seen what he was doing. It looked like he was hijacking the U-Haul, but I'm not for sure. So what I did was I waited for the U-Haul to pass. I got in my car, and I chased it down, and I got the, the license plate number, came on back to the job. DeSoto police used that information to locate the suspect, and a chase began. The pursuit continued into southeast Oak Cliff. The man then exited the U-Haul van, and the chase continued on foot. It ended when police shot the suspect. Again, possibly identified as 26-year-old Colby Robinson of Dallas. While the shooting was going on, a woman waiting in the drive through lane of this jack-in-the-box was hit by a bullet. Police say they're looking into the possibility that that bullet was a stray round from the police shooting. The woman was taken to Methodist Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Now, earlier yesterday, U.S. Marshals tried but failed to arrest the suspect. DeSoto police then put the word out to local businesses to be on the lookout for him, and that is what led to the tip from that 7-Eleven store. Reporting live in Southeast Oak Cliff, Dan Godwin on Good Day.